Welcome to the labor video in our quarter go video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to clock in for the day, add labor to a specific discrepancy, and batch add labor to multiple discrepancies at the same time. To begin, a user can clock in by clicking the clock icon on the top right hand corner. The icon will glow blue, indicating that the user is clocked in for the day. At the end of the day, the user can simply click the clock icon once more, and it will go from blue to gray, indicating that they are clocked out. To add labor to a discrepancy, the user can select the appropriate discrepancy by clicking the checkbox on the discrepancy tile, navigate to the right-hand menu, and click Start Labor. If the user is not clocked in while doing so, Quarter Go will clock them in automatically. Once labor has begun on a discrepancy, Quarter Go will open up that discrepancy, as well as place a clock icon on the bottom right hand corner of that discrepancy tile. Navigating back to the tasks view, we can see the task tile here has been updated as well, indicating that we are currently working on this task. To stop labor on a specific task, the user can simply start labor on a different task. Once that labor is started, Quarter Go will let the user know that they have existing labor that will be ended. We can click Yes to continue. And we can see we have now started labor on the new task. If we go back to our tasks view, we will see the previous task's labor has ended, and we are now working on a new task. If the user wanted to just end all of their labor, they can simply navigate to the right-hand menu, click Stop Labor, and that will stop the labor for them. The user can also add labor to multiple discrepancies by selecting multiple tasks at once. Once the appropriate tasks have been selected, we can navigate to the top right hand corner, click on Start Labor, and just like before, Quarter Go will open up the task for the user. In this case, because we've started labor on three tasks, we can see the three tasks are now grouped together, and we can navigate between the three tasks in order to add our parts and consumables, tools, service demands, steps, and perform our sign offs. We navigate back to the tasks view. We can see now that all three tasks are in progress with a clock icon on the bottom right hand corner, letting us know that we are currently working on all three of the tasks. Starting labor on a brand new task, we'll go ahead and end the current labor on all three previous tasks. We navigate back to the tasks view. We can see that now we are currently only working on the one task and the labor has been ended on, on the three tasks that we were working on before. At the end of the day, the user can navigate to the right-hand menu and click Sign Out. If they're currently clocked in and have open labor, Quarter Go will prompt them to clock out as well as end their open labor. We can select those two options and click Sign Out to be signed out of Quarter Go. Thank you for watching the labor video in our Quarter Go video series. In this video, we discussed clocking in for the day, adding labor to specific discrepancies, and batch adding labor to multiple discrepancies at once. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.